billowing black smoke and flames in the middle of a Cobb County neighborhood. We begin tonight with this breaking news in Marietta where a jet has crashed into a home. Now, this is a live picture from Sky Fox 5. Here's what we know at this point. A Cessna Citation aircraft went down just after 7 o'clock tonight. We have confirmed one person has died. Now, the crash site is about three miles northeast of Cobb County International Airport at McCollum Field. Now, we have a team of reporters and photographers on the ground gathering information. Fox 5's Denise Dillon is talking to witnesses who heard the explosion in the neighborhood. But let's begin with Fox 5's Jacqueline Schultz. And Jacqueline, officials actually took you behind the tape to the crash scene. Well, we're as close right now as officials are letting us get. You can see, I'm going to step aside so you can see one of the homes that was destroyed from the plane coming down. You see right now what's pretty much the shell of a house. You might see some lights over there. Some firefighters are trying to look through the rubble right now. Now, this is a precarious situation because just a half an hour ago, we saw flames uh, coming from the top of what's left of the house. You can see they're just trying to make sure that all the embers are out at this point. Now, there's another home that I can't see from this vantage point, but supposedly there's another home behind that has a lot of damage from the heat. I'm going to let you take a look at this cell phone video that a witness out here sent for me who saw the plane going down. Now, the FAA says that this aircraft was a small jet, a Cessna Citation 1. That's about 40 three feet long. Now it was en route to Charlie Brown at Fulton County Airport from Wilmington, Delaware. Now I'm told that there was some sort of distress call earlier this evening to fire crews and then people called 911. They saw the plane go down in the neighborhood. Now witnesses told me they heard what sounded like a large crash, like even a car crash and a number of people were trying to call 911. They said the line was very busy. Some people even rushed to this neighborhood to make sure everything was okay and one of the witnesses took the cell phone video that you saw a little bit earlier and here is what the witness saw and told us we were eating had normal conversation and all you see is something go in a circle in the sky and then it just went down and we blink and all you see is like the flames the smoke and all of that so we're trying to call the cops two or three times but you cannot get through to nothing so we're driving wondering where is it going where did it come from so we're trying to follow the smoke so as we get here i start recording you see the top of the house is in flames and after that it just started falling down slowly and by the time of course the fire department was here trying to get it out it was just very disturbing very disturbing and at this point, we don't know if federal crews are on the scene right now. They're going to have to be investigating this crash all night and through the morning and for the coming days. But at this point, what witnesses have told me is they saw a plane starting to spiral out of control and then finally go down into this neighborhood and then uh, a large plume of smoke come out. Now, that plane, uh, that mini jet is about 43 feet. It could have held seven people, but at this point, all fire crews know is that one person and only the pilot has died. At this point, we don't know anything about who that pilot was, if they were from the Atlanta area or if they were perhaps from the northeast, from Wilmington, Delaware, from where they took off. Again, this is a very fluid situation here as there are several dozen firefighters out here, about 45, who are trying to make sure that all the embers are out in that home. Uh, they're also helping federal crews that are out here. We're going to stay uh, and give you the latest information on this investigation. But for now, reporting live from Marietta, Jacqueline Schultz, Fox 5 News. All right. Thank you so much, Jacqueline. Now we can see where that crash happened in a very heavily populated area. There were hundreds of witnesses around. Yeah, but we've just learned that two people in particular were not around at the time. We're talking about the couple who live at that house where the plane crashed. And Fox 5's Denise Dillon continues our live team coverage. Denise? Yes, very, very fortunate that the couple who lived in that home where the plane crashed were not home at the time. We talked to them and they said that they were at church. Fox 5 crews were here as they came into the subdivision telling police, hey, that's my house. I need to get to their home. And certainly they were thankful that they were not in that house when the plane crashed. Now here in the Piedmont Hills subdivision, just off Bells Ferry, we're about three miles from the Cobb County Airport. People around here say that they see 
see planes flying overhead all the time, but again, they've never seen or experienced anything like this. I talked to a man named Duncan Elrod, who shared some video with us that he took. He said that he was on top of a roof, working on a roof, when he saw the plane flying low. He saw it start to spiral out of control. Then he heard the explosion. He said he raced over here as fast as he could, getting here in about two minutes. He just wanted to come over to see if there was anything he could do, if there was anyone he could help. And I heard a plane, it sounded like it was flying really, really low. And about the time I started to look up and actually uh, see where it was, there was a, a boom and a huge explosion and a large fireball. And Mr. Rodrod told me that it looked as if the pilot was actually trying to land on the street, but the angle was just too sharp and it just wasn't possible. He said he had no idea, of course, how much control, if any control, the pilot had over the plane at that moment. Now, we talked to a number of other witnesses. We will hear from them a little bit later. Reporting live in Cobb County, Denise Dillon. Fox 5 News. Thank you, Denise. Now, of course, we're going to continue to stay on top of this breaking news. We will update you throughout the newscast. Our news crews are working the scene and their sources right now. We expect an update from officials in the next little bit.